in hand knot. I've also heard it called the schoolboy knot. It's a really easy knot to tie. It's actually the knot that I first learned when I first started wearing a tie when I was a wee lad of 12 years old. Um, what you're gonna end up with the four in hand knot, the knot is a little it's narrow and it's rectangle and it works with any shirt. So don't worry about whether it's a spread collar, wide collar, whatever. You're gonna start off with the tie draped around your neck and you're gonna want the wide end on your right side and the narrow end on your left. And pop up your collar, button up the very top button. It makes it a lot easier to tie your tie. So to start off with, you're gonna take the wide end and you're gonna bring it across the front of the narrow end, just like that, all right? Then you're gonna take the wide end and you're gonna wrap it around the narrow end. So you should end up something like this. And then you're just gonna wrap it around again, just like that. So you should look like this. Now what you're gonna do now is you're gonna take the wide end and you're gonna bring it up and through this loop between your neck and your tie. Bada bing. Then what you're gonna do now is take, you have this loop now that puts your knot, and you're gonna take the wide end and slide it through that loop all the way through. Now a lot of guys love to get that dimple on your tie in the middle of it. What I suggest to get that, stick your index finger down the top of the knot, kind of down the middle and fold the tie around it as you tighten. You get that nice dimple. And just to tighten it up, just hold the knot and the, the narrow end back here and just slide up until it's nice and tight. And then bring your collar down. There you go, four in hand knot. And whenever you tie a tie, it's ideally the, uh, the tip of the tie should hit the belt buckle. Too low, you look like a putz. Too high, you look like a 1940s mobster. You don't want to do that. There you go.